Hey guys. Go carps are going fishing here. Nate. Suey. Squirrel. Um yeah, so I got part three uploading now of the one ten CC go kart and I wanted to try to rig up a gas pedal. It's the same weekend, so see if you guys can sit right here. Look down. You see? Yeah. So here's my cable that was on the original Predator engine. And there's a bolt right here. And I'm gonna make a little strap right there to hold that bolt. And then on this other piece that I made, I'm just gonna figure out a way to I might try soldering it. I don't know if solder will hold. But maybe if I fray the ends, intertwine them a little bit, and then solder it, it might hold. What do you guys think? for the try right and I have where'd it go find another one and these guys they're just like little electrical conduit um, straps and I'm gonna take the starter bolt out right here and uh, kind of crooked but at least you can see and I'm gonna bend this piece in this piece to fit tight around that and then this will bolt onto there and then I'll either solder I got a little bolt I'll bolt them together or something 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 like that okay so I'm gonna try to do that real quick and uh, see if it works and I'll get back to you all right so here's where we're at so I made my little bracket here, I drilled a hole and put a zip tie through it and look, holds it nice and tight. I don't have much play because when I push my gas pedal, you see it goes into right there. So I only got that much room, which should be plenty because that's too small. So I'm going to get my soldering gun out. Make it work. No tools, no problem. All right, I'm gonna start it up. Use my gas pedal now. All right, this is gonna be the second time ever I've started this thing up. So let's see. Gotta give me a starter switch from the parts store. but it's working. The funky smell. Oh, the wire's touching the exhaust. Don't do that. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna go inside and cool off for a little bit and see what I can do next. I picked up some stuff from the local parts store. Push button starter. It's like the best thing they had. Cheapest thing anyway that resembled. I could have looked at another parts store, but it's whatever. It'll work. Uh, shut off valve, some fuel line. I bought these so I can hook it up to that battery easier for now until because that battery ain't taking charge, unfortunately. Got some heat shrink and some solder. And I think that's about it. Oh, I got changing the oil because the stuff that was in it. See, I'm making a mess. I'm going to pour that into a water bottle so you guys can see how much fuel is in there because it smells like straight fuel and it's real liquidy. So I'll show you what that looks like later once it separates 
And I'm going to start putting some stuff together here. Sorry about the shake. That <coughs> is the oil that was in this 110cc. This is how this guy sells his motors. Good stuff, right? So I'm going to run it for a little bit. <clears throat> Not right now, but I already changed the oil once. But I'm, once I get it going, I'll run it for an hour. And then I'm going to change that oil again. And then I'm going to run it for two hours and change the oil again. Because it ain't like it's that expensive. But I'm getting all the electronics together. Right here you can see the uh, voltage thingamajiggy. The coil, the CDI, my push button starter, my key switch. <clears throat> yeah. So those are all the things I need to mount up and I'm trying to figure out a way to do so because I want the key switch and the button to be underneath the steering wheel and I want these to be maybe I'm thinking about mounting them over here somewhere like building a little plate across here and putting a little piece of rubber on it and then mounting them there just so they're out of my way. So. And then I want to build a little dashboard. I'm trying to figure out a way to do that. Forgive me, guys. So. The washing washer is going. Um, so, like I said, I need somewhere to mount some stuff. So I just cut this out, and I'm gonna weld it. Just tack weld it on there. And then I found some rubber matting that's up there on my. Uh, that's up there. Yeah, on my workbench. And. I'm just going to put a little bit of rubber matting in between each thing that I uh, strap down however I do so. Because these like don't have really any good way to strap it down. It's just some, you make a little mount for it to stick to or something. So I might do that. I don't know. I guess I could just make two little things for that to slide onto. That could hold that. This has got the same ordeal. It's got a little slide on thing here. I might can figure something out. And then I'm going to do the same thing right here. Put, cut me out a little dashboard. And put the key and the start button. So, yeah, I'm going to weld that down. Start trying to figure out how I'm going to mount those things on there. And I'm going to wire it up all pretty too when I'm done. And I'll show you how everything works electronically. So, all right, there it is all, all right. tacked in. It's got a little bend to it. Kind of keep dirt and stuff from coming up and hitting the motor too, which is pretty cool. But, excuse me, such a pig. But yep, I'm gonna get to mounting my electronics on there. Make them look all pretty. All right, so I'm trying to get this wire, nice. wire and stuff all mounted up on here. You know, not the key switch, just uh, the coil, the ignition coil. I, I keep calling them the wrong things, forgive me, it's whatever. I can't remember the name of them to save my life. But I'm going to mount this piece of rubber in between them just to keep down on vibration, noise, and you know, it'll, it'll keep it from vibrating. Make sure there's no shorts or nothing. So This one's easy, I just drill a hole through it, and bolt it on there, just a uh, ignition coil. So, I'm going to start by just mounting that right there and I'll have my first piece mounted. So I just got to find a drill bit to fit that and I'm going to do that up real nice. And there's the coil pack mounted up so you can kind of see where this is going now. Now this, I'll probably try and put like right here or something. I'm thinking I might just zip tie this baby on there and let it ride. What do you guys think? I think it'll be fine. Same with this, I think I might just zip tie this baby. It might get kind of hot right there. I think I might put that there. And this like right there. You know? Just, I'm just gonna zip tie it, man, cause it'll be fine. You know? It might get kind of hot right here is the only thing I'm thinking now though. But it ain't like I'm gonna be driving that far long distances. Gonna get plenty of air blowing through. You keep 
keep this wire off that exhaust. I'm gonna, uh, let me run this up and over or something. Like so. Keep that nice and clear. And I can just run all the wires down over here. You know, I could just turn this like this. I think I might do that and have these like this. I'm gonna do. Alright, I'll get back with you. Got this out the portal. Exit that's one through there. So now I'm gonna strap it down. pretty but first I'm gonna mount this and this under the dash because I want to be able to push a button and start it right up so I like this how this came out and I'll wire up all these wires pretty I'll just build that wiring harness back up the way I want it and that'll be that. Done with. Gotta mount this guy in there too. So I'm just gonna do him. I gotta undo that ground so it'll reach over here, but here. That plug actually works pretty good. It won't come out. But yeah. I'm gonna put it underneath there. I'll just cut another little piece of rubber. It's got a bolt hole. Alright. Uh, <coughs> That's gonna be my dashboard. I'm at my key switch and my start button in there and when I get lights and stuff I'll put that in there too. Alright, I'm going to tack that on there. Get to drilling some holes. I might have to take that steering wheel off and drill the holes where I want them. Or I might drill the holes before I mount it which would be smarter. All That's right, what I'm going to so do. So I got my holes in there I'm drill some holes. for my key switch and my push button. So now I'm just going to put four tack welds on each side and throw my stuff in there so yeah I'm gonna tack it up and then I'll let you guys watch me put it back together yeah so I was so excited I just threw them in there wasn't no big deal it looks good I'm happy with that it's kind of tucked in there a little bit I'm gonna take this switch off Maybe if I need another switch, I'll mount it down there somewhere, you know. But, yeah. Done with that. Now the fun part. And that's wiring all this stuff together. I got all the wires hanging underneath the cart right now. But now I gotta tie all this in and make it work right. And these wires all pretty all over right, there. So what I've done here, which looks like a spider, uh, spider's web, is I've eliminated all this stuff that I don't need. So anything that was a plug that wasn't essential for it to run, I took off, which I'm sure this stuff is just for lights and start switch, which I eliminated. And I'm pretty sure these others are just for lights and auxiliaries. So I have the main components on there and I have it almost wired up. I still have to wire the switch the push button switch and once I wire that up I'll know what I need you know to get it going and running so I'll clean it now that I got it where I want it I'll clean it all up make all the wires long enough and tuck them in and you know put a put like some wire wrapper or some 
electrical tape or something around it and make it look pretty. And then I'm going to try to start it with my key and push button, which is what I really am looking forward to. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. I'm gonna start some wire in here, so I gotta extend these wires longer so that they'll lay. I've already ran. These are for the push button start, nice and thick, because they're gonna go to the battery, and to the solenoid. Now I gotta extend these wires because you can see they're pretty short. So at first I got the green one and I'm gonna solder these babies up. Well, All I have to do is this one here. Okay. Actually, this here, this needs, oh, watch out. This needs to go to the battery too. 
so I made it extra long. Um, so there it is. I, just, I can hook the battery up and clean all this stuff up. Maybe make some little straps. Like a little strap right down here or something. Hold it. Make it look all pretty. Don't look that way now, but I can make it look pretty. You'll see. Alright, I'm going to clean this up. Talk to me, Cletus. It's all hooked up battery-wise and all that stuff. Is it good to turn the fuel on first? That small battery didn't work. That small battery does not work, so it either needs a new one or just something else, but don't no start it. There's the key switch. You gotta turn the key on. Pushing the button. Gotta figure out. Now we just gotta finish it. We can get a new battery. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah. It runs. <coughs> yep. I was starting to question it yesterday. I changed oil. See the see what the oil looked like up there? That's the oil from this. Yeah. Thing? Don't shake it up. I was trying to let it settle. It's thin. It's like water and gasoline. Yeah. It smells like gas, which is a bad thing. Probably had to leak all the fuel down through it. Vapor lock it. Yeah. But That's all the oil you're going. Fits in all right. Thing. So now, instead of that old crappy gas tank, I went in my little spot and found this. I got. I think it's off a of Tukumski engine. That engine there found this it's got two nice bolt holes right here that I can just bolt it on here and I think that'll look way better than that other garbage one though I just gotta cut a little bit off of here with my Dremel and bolt it down there and I think that'll be perfect it'll look way better than that ugly I rigged up a gas so tank I'm gonna start working <laughs> on that you think it'll be high enough to as long as I keep, you know, full tank, it's close to being level. It's close to being level with the top of the float. I think it'll be fine. Yep, there she is, all in a nutshell. I guess I'll make this the ending of part three. Ryan went home, <clears throat> and I was still working, so. That gas tank might get a little shaky. We'll see. It's only got two bolts holding it. <clears throat> Fire! It'll be sitting right over the exhaust too. <laughs> One day. But, yep. Just need the axle. Once again. Check out my Patreon page. I'm going to upload a video to it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>